Hi, this is Daniel Bryant. I am a motion graphic designer in the Tampa Bay area. And today, we're gonna to be working in Photoshop, looking at blending modes and layer styles to make a really cool looking ad. So uh, the very first thing we're gonna do is kind of go over some of my favorite blending modes. Blending modes in Photoshop can be found right here. And what they do is darken and add and brighten your layer based off of different equations inside of Photoshop. Now, a lot of times you're just gonna be playing around trying to find out, okay, what looks nice. But there are some givens. For example, if you wanted to make a picture look more contrasty, you could use overlay and kind of do like a black and white or paint in what areas you really wanted to add contrast. And uh, if you wanted to knock out colors like white, black, or 50% gray, I'm going to show you how to do that right now, but you would use blending modes to do that. So uh, I'll definitely recommend going in and playing around with it. But uh, just real quick, some of my favorite ones here are multiply. And what multiply does is it it darkens a layer or multiplies it on top of itself. And how that helps me is a lot of times if I want to knock out the color white, it does that perfectly for me. As you can see, this 50% gray has now turned like a 50% opacity as well. So if you needed to use it for that, if I want to knock out this black area, I would use add. And you can see how it's adding to this layer. It's kind of making it brighter. And uh, if I wanted to take out the 50% gray, I would use hard light and you can see how the black and white area aren't affected at all. Now you can use this in multiple different ways. If I wanted to paint on top of this, for example, you know, let's say I needed to paint dodge and burn. Now that I have this gray area here, I could paint, uh, let's press D and paint in black or, you know, press X, paint in white here. And if I want to bring down the opacity, that could really help me like in rounding things out or, or during, uh, a retouch you know if I'm trying to define the edges of a nose and such like that but uh, this just a really quick technique for you uh, we're gonna use it here just a little bit so uh, let's go ahead and get started so I'm gonna actually delete that top layer we're using those examples and duplicate this bottom layer one time so let's start out with our first blending mode so let's go back to add and you can see how this multiplies this layer it makes it brighter very next thing I want to do is select my marquee tool. Let's go with a round elliptical marquee tool and we'll feather it about 200 and let's go ahead and select right here in the center of this layer. I'm going to press command shift I to invert my selection and press delete. Now we've got kind of a cool spotlight effect here in our layer. Let's go another step further. So I'm going to press command J again and now we're going to use multiply and darken our layer. And as you can see, we're starting to get a different variation on this colored background. So let's go ahead and select this multiplied layer. And all I'm going to do is press delete to delete the inside and give us a nice vignette. So let's go ahead and take those two layers off. And you can see already how this is just making our background layer just a little bit more interesting. The very next thing I'm going to do is create a text layer. And let's just call this... Uh, gloss and uh, let's call it shiny since we're making things shine here all right and uh, for this text layer let's just go ahead and use times new Roman italic is fine uh, and just let's go ahead and put this in the center so I'm gonna select this text layer select my move tool and press hold down control and select my background layer what I'm gonna do is align my text layer to the center of this background layer so this background layer is locked. It's not going to move anywhere. That's important to know because what I want to do is align our text layer to the center of the background layer. So with our move tool selected, we get these options up here to align uh, our layers. So if I want to align to the center, I can do that very easily here with these align tools. And since this background layer isn't moving in anywhere, basically what I told Photoshop is, hey, move my text layer to the middle of this background layer and Photoshop did it for me. Awesome, next thing I wanna do is, let's decrease the spacing here. So if I hold down Option and the left and right keys, I can actually increase and decrease spacing, and that looks good to me. Very next thing I wanna do is actually make this look shiny. So let's change the color here. We're gonna change it to black. 
and that way it pops off the page here and the uh, very next thing I want to do is press command shift N and we're gonna call this the shine part of the layer so with my color pickers selected they don't really have to be selected for the techniques that we're gonna use right here but uh, let's say you know I get off in some really wonky color so I selected you know pink and I was painting with pink and now I really want to go back to black and white if I press D brings my color picker back to its default black and white now interesting thing is if I have my layer selected if I hold down option and then click backspace it'll fill my selected layer with a foreground color and the same thing works if I press command backspace it'll fill my background layer with the background color picker color so a very cool technique quick tip right there now what I want to do to kind of make our text look shiny and more interesting is give it like a glossy look so if I hold down option and click in between our top layer and this bottom layer of text that we want to use this top layer is now clipped inside or held inside of our bottom layer and we can manipulate this top layer however we want to and all it's going to do is take the layer borders and clip itself inside of our bottom object so you can use this in very many ways so now we've got the beginning of our shine but one thing that I really want to do is kind of make this stand out and really look glossy so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select our top layer and I'm gonna add a layer mask and just quick for your memory white reveals black hides so what I want to do now is add a black area to hide or gradiate this uh, this top shine layer so the best tool I know to use that is the gradient tool so I'm gonna press G for gradient making sure that our foreground color is black and Photoshop automatically makes that uh, gradient color black for me and I'm gonna select our layer mask hold down shift with a linear gradient gradiate that top shine out and there we go we've got shiny text just kind of a quick uh, overview if I hold down option and click between those layers again you'll see exactly what I'm getting with this top layer and now we've got kind of a cool looking shiny text layer let's take it another step I really want this to pop up off the page so let's add a bevel and emboss so I'm gonna go down to my layer styles go to bevel and boss and uh, cool thing here in bevel and boss is you've got a lot of options so if I want the bevel to look like it's inside of our text you can do that or outside or you know if I had a stroke uh, on this so let's add a stroke here so you can see what I'm talking about make it huge and we'll do stroke and boss and then you can manipulate the uh, the bevel and boss on top of the stroke itself if I take it off you'll see it's not doing anything to the actual layer it's just doing it to the stroke yeah it's just really cool to play around I definitely recommend playing around with this because it's a great feature inside of Photoshop what I'm gonna do right now is an outer bevel and we're gonna go with chisel hard and give us nice crisp edges here on our bevel let's go ahead and bring the depth to about 200 in depth all it is is telling Photoshop kind of how high to make this layer so if I wanted to make it look like it's way off the the background here I'd bring the depth way up um, or if I kinda wanna just peeking through I'd, I'd bring it down just a little bit so I'm gonna go about to 200 and the size here is all dependent on you know how big the actual bevel is cool so let's go about there and uh, you could do the same thing so if I didn't want this edge so crispy I could soften it up a little bit but I kinda like the crispiness there uh, well kinda like that too we'll leave it at three why not and uh, same thing if you want the bevel to go down it looks like it's going underneath this page or this background layer but we want it to go up so it looks like it's pop popping up off the page so uh, that looks cool there to me uh, and here's some other cool techniques here if you play around with the shading you can actually manipulate the way that the light affects this layer so let's go kind of towards a more glossy look and just kind of go through to here Ooh, that's a cool look there too 
you can just kind of play around with it and uh, if you really wanted to get complicated just click on that uh, glass contour and you can really do some wonky things there <laughs> I got something kind of cool by accident so let's just leave it like that and if I press anti-alias uh, it gives us just a little bit more crisp of a look I'm not gonna leave you like that let's go ahead and pick something together here that's good well alright we'll, we'll start here with this kind of wavy uh, glass contour and if I drag this angle around you can actually manipulate the lighting get it to look how you want so uh, we're getting somewhere here and we're getting something really cool kind of like where this is going remember the light itself would probably be coming here from the top since we've got kind of a top shine here so let's kind of bring it from the top if it doesn't work from us we'll just fake it I guess there we go that looks good to me again size brings up and down this uh, shine here the size of the bevel and uh, cool we've got ourselves a nice looking technique and uh, one cool thing here too is with the text if I wanted to change the text let's just change it from shiny to glossy and uh, we can still manipulate the text without doing too much great thing here is everything's editable uh, you know if we wanted to go a step further we can use different uh, blending modes but this is just a really cool text technique that you can use inside of Photoshop to get just one stylistic looking ad or logo design cool well I hope you've learned a lot inside of this tutorial and I, I hope you have fun learning thanks